you said that the, the your most recent album was kind of going a little bit deep here about you becoming a, a father and a husband and, and the roles and kind of what you struggled with in, in getting into that role. Yeah. Is that kind of like a, a thing shared with a lot of the other um, members of the band? Like stuff that they've gone through as yeah. well? Uh, I would imagine it would it would relate to Ryan. He, he's married and has three kids. Yeah. Three girls. So I'm sure that Ryan could relate to that as well. Um, but, you know, it's something that, that means a lot to us family in general, you know, and we had such a great dad growing up, but he didn't start great, you know. He almost left our mom um, when we were, probably before we were born, definitely before we were born, um, but just really had this, you know, like breakthrough moment where God just told him, like, I'm going to take your life if you don't, like, repent and, you know, change your ways, which is pretty freaky, but also yeah. pretty awesome, you know, that, like, God cared enough about my dad to say I'm gonna kill you. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> um, great. Yeah. So that was that was always inspiring to me um, to really like not get to that point where God has to say He's gonna kill me. You know what I mean? Yeah, I would that's rather, always a good point to never get. <laughs> I to. would rather not get to that point. You know. But you know, honestly, we've we've been through a lot. My wife and I, uh, our, her parents got divorced the same year we got married after 29 years of being married. So it was just devastating. You know. So she went through like a massive you know, depression after that. And Ryan can relate to his wife, you know, as her parents were divorced when she was younger. Um, and it's just like really devastating on the kids and everybody involved. So, you know, what could have been like a great first year of marriage became this like really tumultuous time of struggle and difficulty, you know? Um, so through that, I think I kind of got hardened, you know, but just by playing the role of protector, like yeah. from, you know, the, all of this mess that was going on and, and really kind of like got burnt out, you know, spiritually and just, just kind of jaded. And so a lot of the songs on this record, Believe Me in particular, it's just kind of like me saying to them, like, look, you know, I'm not the man that I used to be or even the man that I want to be. Um, but I promise you, I, I'm striving for that. You know, I'm striving to lead you in the way that, that God wants me to lead this family. So what is it like to kind of share those sort of really deep lyrics with with your audience that's listening to it, sharing it the first time with the rest of the band, you know, it's kind of an extremely vulnerable experience, I'm guessing. Yeah, it, it is, but it's it's one that's, like, really important to us, you know what I mean? Never to put on, like, some some mask, you know, that would make it seem like we're, we're we've got it all figured out, you know yeah. what I mean? Or, like, because we're Christians that, you know, the music has to be some happy, like, Christian story every time, you know, not that there's anything wrong with that, but... Um, yeah, for us it was really important to, to be honest in the songs and there are a lot of times when you know kind of feel naked You know yeah. when you're singing about family members or, or really difficult things that you've gone through But those are the ones that people honestly can relate to the most You know because people have gone through the same stuff and say you know what they're, they're being honest so I can you know I can really appreciate that about this song Someday. 